This is Gene Key, KDD News. An Amarillo man is dead and a Pampa man is in the hospital following an accident east of the city of Amarillo on Farm to Market 1912. Amarillo police say 63-year-old Joe Hunt was driving southbound when he was struck by a vehicle driven by 90-year-old Douglas Dubois on Wednesday. Hunt was killed in the accident. Dubois was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police say alcohol was not a factor. Newschannel10.com reported the Canadian man is being held in the Hemphill County Jail on murder charges. 31-year-old Travis Wayne Harden was arrested on what was first believed to be a car accident on Highway 60 outside of Canadian. 54-year-old Cynthia Hanshaw was killed in that accident. The Hemphill County Sheriff's Department is currently investigating. It looks as though Texas is losing the chance to show innocence or guilt of a death row inmate. A judge has denied a Texas death row inmate's request for testing of DNA evidence his attorney says could prove his innocence less than a week before the man is set to be executed. Hank Skinner, 49 years old, is scheduled to be executed Wednesday for the 1993 deaths of his girlfriend and her two sons. Skinner's attorney had asked for testing of DNA evidence that was not tested before in his 1993 trial. Skinner was sentenced to death for the 1993 deaths of his girlfriend, 40-year-old Twyla Busby, and her son, Elwin Scooter Collar, 22, and Randy Busby, 20. The victims were strangled, beaten, or stabbed on New Year's Eve at their home in Pampa. Skinner also has filed a federal lawsuit claiming Texas violated his civil rights by withholding access to the evidence. That lawsuit is pending. Skinner's DNA evidence from the 1993 crime will most likely be destroyed without ever being tested if the execution is held as scheduled. This is Gene Key, KDD News.